Number three, decide that your family will serve the Lord. Decide what your family, that your family will serve the Lord. Don't just hope. Uh, I hope, I hope they, they go to church. I hope they have a relation. I hope my kids grow up and walk with the Lord. How many of you guys know we can do a whole lot more than just hope? We can decide. Well, but Pastor Jay, I, I, the Bible, you know, God created us with so is it to, to decide for themselves what they end up doing? Yes, it is absolutely their own decision. But how many of you know you should decide that they're going to make the right one? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's more than hoping. I'm deciding, no, you will know the Lord. You will know the truth. How many of you know, it's like when Paul and Silas said, when they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. How many of you know, they did a whole lot more than saying, don't just believe that you're going to be saved. Decide and believe that your whole family is going to be saved. This is an important thing. This is an important distinction of what God is calling us as believers to do. One of the ways that we see our families step into salvation is we decide that they will serve the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm deciding. I, ha I, I have three kids. I have a 13-year-old son. That means I have a teenager in my house. He is living in my house, and it is different. You know what I mean? It's different. Like, all of a sudden, there's different music that, 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 that's going on. There's, there's different things that he wants to watch, different interests. There's, there's this whole different gender now that he talks to. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's all these different things that, that are happening. And just because they know the Lord today, we can't assume that there's not an enemy out there that's going to try to get them off track. And so I need to decide for my children, no, 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 no. You are, I'm deciding that you will know the truth that you are going to stay with it, and that we will get you on the right track. Something that a lot of my friends' parents, I've heard them say, and maybe you've heard this before, is I want my kids to grow up and make their own decisions. Do whatever's good for them. You know what I mean? Have, have any of you heard that before? I, I want them to do what's good for them. But how many of you know that is setting your kids up for a disadvantage? Because if the truth has been made known to you, why would we tell them anything else? Why would we let them believe anything else? You see, we can instruct our children. We can guide them, get them on the right course so that when they are not with us anymore, because that's, there's going to be a time where that happens. I'm a little nervous about that too, if, I, if I'm going to be completely honest. But when they are on their own, they've already been set on the right course, and there's much more like, likelihood of success. You guys know what I'm talking about? Listen to what Joshua chapter 24, verse 15 says. This is Joshua. He's talking to the people of Israel. And at this time, they were being tempted to seek after their own pleasures, to do their own thing, to, to party late at night, to have fun, to just kind of kick back and not really do what God says, but let's just do what we want to do it the way we've always done it, the way we like to do it. And so Joshua comes and he says, and if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day who you will serve whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. Now notice what Joshua says. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Notice Joshua didn't just decide, you guys, you know, if you want to serve your old gods, the fake gods, the false gods, the gods of other people, you know what? You guys go ahead and do that. But Joshua didn't say, I'm going to serve the Lord. What did he say? Me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You see, he decided something. And I'm telling you, if Joshua can choose that his family is going to serve the Lord, how many know we can choose the same thing? As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. The New Generation says, but as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. I think some of us need to decide something today. Me and my family, we're going to serve the Lord. Yeah, there's a lot of other options out there. or Yeah, there's a lot of other things that they could be doing. or Yes, there's a, there's a lot of other opportunities out there. But for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. 